which is a good thing for a lot of these plants due to the fact that stagnant air can really affect them. So it circulates the air within the terrarium, which is a really nice feature. Um, and also within that, when you buy this, you'll get everything you're going to need, meaning so you'll get the core bark, uh, the core bark and soil to be able to put into the, the base of the uh, terrarium. Also, um, a plate in the bottom for it to rest on. So really, you get everything you're going to need. Yeah. I mean, the only thing you don't get is the actual decoration itself. So we've got a selection of tropical plants here, and we've also got some hardscape material. We've got some bog wood, some driftwood, a few bits of rock. And we're gonna take a selection of these plants that work well together, the same as the hardscape, and actually set them up in the terrarium as a display. Now, as we've done before, it can be a little boring for you guys if you watch us working out exactly how everything goes together. So I think it's best now if we jump to a time lapse, you can watch us setting the unit up. And then afterwards, we'll go over in a little bit more detail some of the actual um, species that we've selected and exactly how it went together. So there you have it, the Biorbiter terrarium all planted up and it's safe to say that we're pretty happy with how it came yeah, out. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, it's really smart. Um, to give you a little bit more insight as to what we actually went through in terms of the process of getting it planted, initially we selected the hardscape. So as we mentioned in the first part of this video, we used some uh, bog wood and we used some small pieces of grey pillar rock to kind of build up a basic hardscape. And then we started to work from the back to the front um, to make sure you've got a nice depth of field within the terrarium. So at the back, we've got some common lip ferns. They should grow in nicely and create that nice background um, planting section. And then in front of that, you've got the centerpiece of the terrarium, uh, the orchid. Um, everyone knows an orchid, they're very beautiful and they can be quite difficult to keep. So the chance to put one in a terrarium that's kind of designed to ensure that that's as easy as possible, we couldn't pass up. Then you've kind of got the mid-ground, we've got some uh, pilia plants, the aluminium species, and then a trailing species. And then we've got on the right-hand side here some petonias as well. Uh, that trailing species will lead down into the foreground of the terrarium, where we've got again a smaller, lower-growing petonia species and another small fern and some common moss. And with that being at the front, quite low, and like we said, the ferns at the back, you get a real nice depth to the uh, terrarium. Yeah, it just looks great and we're so happy with it. As we said, and as you saw in the time-lapse, when you open the box, everything's there ready to use. Um, all of the parts of the terrarium are sectioned off in boxes. So you've got the main terrarium in the middle, and then you've got four boxes. In the first box, you get the grating that goes underneath the soil um, and a mat that you put over that to stop any of the soil sort of falling through into the grating, and it just helps with drainage into the bottom uh, of the terrarium. You do need to, and we will do, fill the bottom of the terrarium with water. You do have a water level indicator at the front, so it shows you where you, you need to go, and if you've ever got an issue with it, you, you know that the water's gonna you know, need to be reduced or increased. Um, so from there, you work your way up. You can then uh, put your scape on, put the soil in, build up your hardscape and your plants, um, and then you're ready to go with the lighting and the hood. So in the hood, you've got um, a filter, a carbon filter uh, and a fan underneath that, um, your LED lighting and also the uh, automatic mister. So it's a really awesome system that's all powered by one control button. You just press it so many times and it does all of the different features and you can even get it to do this party piece, the misting, which is yeah. wicked. I mean, out of the box, it was so easy to set up that that's part of the appeal. So if you think that that appeals to you and you want to bring a bit of nature into your house, which is kind of what this is designed for, then it comes um, at a cost of £349 and available on our website. Um, now, I know that's not the cheapest terrarium out there, but when you think about how it looks and the style of it and everything that you get with it, um, it's a good price and everything comes easy to set up. So if you think it's for you, if you've got any questions as normal, then feel free to comment down below. Um, or just give us a call or an email, whether it's to do, to do with plant choices or hardscape, and we'd of course be happy to help. As we said before, these aren't really suited for reptiles, but plants perfect and some invertebrates. So 
we're going to be putting an invertebrate in here and we want to see if you can guess the one we're going to put in so put your guesses in the comments yeah we look forward to seeing those comments as always thanks for watching if you're not already subscribed or if you've enjoyed it um, kind of a different subject matter being more terrarium or exotic uh, product based then let us know in the comments down below and we'd be happy to make more videos detailing that um, so make sure you're subscribed as i say make sure you give us a thumbs up if you are subscribed hit that bell notification because we've got some great content coming up over the next few weeks and that will alert you when those videos are released thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one yep see ya